In our time on this planet, humanity has always looked upward at the stars for inspiration. Something about their faraway beauty has captivated and propelled us. Recently, we as a species have made great leaps toward the stars. Trips to the moon, probes sent outward into the solar system, searching for knowledge. Many agree that the next step in our celestial journey is to one specific place, the red planet, Mars. There are many obstacles between humanity and a Mars colony, but we believe that many of these obstacles can be solved with one thing, energy. In the words of Einstein himself, everything is energy, and that's all there is to it. We use energy to recycle water, to provide heat and clean air, to power the scientific instruments that we must use to expand our knowledge. Until now, the main contender for Martian energy has been solar power. Solar power is an excellent source of energy, but it has several drawbacks. Firstly, it is bulky. Current solar technology simply takes up too much precious room on a small spacecraft. Secondly, solar energy is hard to store. Storing the electricity generated by solar panels requires large, inefficient, and expensive batteries. Finally, and perhaps most critically, solar energy is unreliable. Solar panels are delicate, and when they are broken, they are very hard to fix, especially with the limited resources available on Mars. They also do not supply power during a Martian night, which is problematic for a colony that must be running at all times. Instead of looking upward to solve these problems, we looked earthward, and we believe that we have a solution with effervesce. Effervesce is a bioreactor that produces methane, the main component of natural gas. It utilizes a microbiome composed of a terrestrial clostridium bacterium and a methanogen. Essentially, human waste is metabolized into hydrogen by the Clostridium bacteria, while carbon dioxide is injected from the Martian atmosphere. These two gases are then metabolized into methane by the methanogen. We believe that methane is the ideal fuel on Mars. It is easy to utilize and can be stored much more efficiently than electricity. Effervesce also produces water as a byproduct, which would obviously be very useful on Mars. Finally, from a more abstract viewpoint, effervesce would be an interesting case study of microbial life on a planet that is not Earth. We have finished designing the effervesce reactor, and we look forward to further testing. We believe effervesce is a large step towards our journey to Mars, as well as on the path to humanity's future.